bacteria in the product are growing and living on an organic juice made up of mint, kale, lettuce, celery, cucumber, apple, and lemon juice. And getting the, the right juice became a problem because I wasn't happy with the juice they were using. Uh, we had to find a manufacturer that had the right certification because you may know that our USDA allows it to be called organic with only 95% of the juice organic. But that's not good enough. I, patients need 100% because it's what I want to put into me as well. So now I had the right media and you have to have the right facility. It has to be an FDA compliant facility and it has to be certified by certain organizations to be clean. It became important because complaints from Harvard were these facilities aren't always as clean as you would like them to be. And you don't know this. We don't know this as the consumer. So now we had to find the right strains of bacteria. Back down to 15. Them. Why did I choose these 15? What? published studies from PubMed showing effectiveness against C. diff. Do you know what C. diff is? If you don't, hopefully you never will. Half a million Americans get it every year. 30,000 Americans, usually seniors and children, die from the uncontrolled diarrhea that it causes. What is it caused by? Taking antibiotics, which kills all the bad bacteria and good bacteria except for C. diff which needs special antibiosis to kill it. Well, these studies have proven that these probiotics, specific ones, will work to prevent and help treat and help prevent C. diff and Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, leaky gut, and all the rest uh, uh, that we deal with when we deal with digestive disorders. They're all patented bacterial strains, which makes them extremely expensive, okay? So we were able to get 15 strains of bacteria that are shown effective. Now, very important, they have to survive the stomach. The stomach is loaded with acid, okay, and digestive enzymes. All these have been studied and shown to survive the stomach over 85 to 90 percent, depending on which ones you're looking at, so that they will actually get into your gut so they can populate the wall.